verse of the day the 23rd of July 2023. For this reason Christ is the mediator of a new covenant, that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, now that he has died as a ransom to set them free from the sins committed under the first covenant. Hebrews 9.15 Thoughts on today's verse The verse begins by introducing Christ as the mediator of a new covenant. The new covenant refers to the new relationship between God and humanity, sealed by Christ's sacrifice. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus became the bridge between God and humanity, allowing us to have direct access to God's grace and mercy. The verse further explains that Christ's death served as a ransom, paying the price for sin and setting believers free from the guilt and consequences of their transgressions under the Old Covenant. The First Covenant, which was based on the Law of Moses, revealed humanity's inability to keep it perfectly and highlighted our need for a Savior. Christ's sacrifice fulfilled the requirements of the law and brought about forgiveness and reconciliation with God. In summary, Hebrews 9.15 emphasizes the redemptive work of Christ, who became the mediator of a new covenant, offering forgiveness and eternal inheritance to those who trust in Him. It highlights the transformative power of His death, releasing believers from the bondage of sin and providing access to God's grace and mercy. This verse encourages us to place our faith in Christ as the perfect and ultimate sacrifice, securing our salvation and eternal relationship with God. Prayer for the day. Heavenly Father, I come before you with awe and gratitude for the truth revealed in Hebrews 9.15. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the mediator of a new covenant. Through his sacrifice, I have the blessed assurance of receiving the promised eternal inheritance and freedom from the burden of sin. Lord. I recognize my need for a Savior, and I humbly come to you, acknowledging my sins and shortcomings. I thank you for the redemptive work of Christ on the cross, as his death has paid the ransom for my sins, setting me free from the guilt and bondage that once held me captive. Father, I trust in the power of Christ's sacrifice to bring about forgiveness and reconciliation with you. Help me to continually seek his guidance and follow his teachings, that I may walk in the path of righteousness and experience the fullness of your grace and mercy. As I embrace the new covenant through Christ, I pray for a deeper understanding of your word and your will for my life. Strengthen my faith, that I may live with confidence in the eternal inheritance that awaits me in your presence. Lord, may your spirit lead me to be a living testimony of the transformation that Christ's sacrifice brings. May I demonstrate your love, grace, and mercy to others, pointing them towards the hope found in Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the gift of salvation through Christ. May I never take for granted the sacrifice he made on my behalf. May my life be a reflection of your goodness and your glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.